Hey everyone, so you clicked on this video to learn about list comprehensions and how to actually implement this into your code. I'm here to teach this concept in the shortest amount of time possible. Let's get right into it. So in short, list comprehension is a method in which you can construct a list in Python. It is one of the most unique and convenient features of the entire language. These are constructed by utilizing a for loop within the actual brackets of the list you are making. I first want to make a clear difference between a list and a list comprehension. The list is the actual data structure you are all familiar with. It has two square brackets surrounded by the data it holds. List comprehension is a process of making that list. It also contains the bracket, but it contains an expression followed by some sort of for loop. This method works by adding the expression to the list as it iterates over that loop. This can also accept Boolean values, which will only add the expression if some sort of condition is met. It can also loop over multiple collections at the same time. This method is ideal as it eliminates the need for long code by making the process of making a list possible in just one line of code. Okay, let's hop right into the examples. Let's do something very simple at first, and let's create a list of all the numbers 1 through 50. Now, doing this the old way, this is what you would do. Now, we're going to make a variable called numbers, and we're going to set it equal to an empty list. And now we're going to make a simple for loop for every num in range 1 to 51 numbers dot append num. And as you see, when we print this result, we get all the numbers 1 through 50. Very simple. Now, with the power of list comprehension, we can do all of this in just one line of code. So now let's make the numbers variable again, and we can set it equal to another list. But inside this list, we're going to have for every num, which is that expression that we talked about before. F now we follow it with a for loop for every num in range 1 through 51. Now, when we actually print numbers, we see that we got the exact same result with just one line of code. Now, if we take this step one step forward, we can see that we can modify each one of these expressions in the list. So now let's say, let's take the square of all the numbers 1 through 50. So the long way, like we did before, we can make create a new variable, square numbers, and we can set it equal to an empty list for every num in range 1 through 51 square num dot append number squared. Now if we print this, we get the result that you guys are expecting, all the numbers squared 1 through 50. Okay, here it is. Now if we want to achieve this with list comprehension, we can do it with just one line of code by modifying that first expression. So we set it equal to a list again, but now we can say number squared. Now we follow it with the for loop like we did before for every num in range 1 through 50. Now if we print this, we get the exact same result as above. There we go. Now let's take this step one step further. Let's add Boolean expression to this. So how about we create a list of all the even numbers 1 through 50? That is a very easy Boolean to check. So doing it the long way, we can say even nums equals to an empty list for every num in range 1 through 50. Now we can add the Boolean expression if num modulo 2 equals 0, even nums dot append num. Now if we print this, we have all the even numbers 1 to 50. Now using list comprehensions, you guessed it, we can add a Boolean expression at the very end of it. So for every num in the range, 1 through 50, and then we can follow with a Boolean expression if num modulo 2 is 0. Now printing this, we get the result we all expect. There we go. 
Now let's try to apply list comprehension to modifying an existing list. So let's create a new list. Let's do numbers and let's just do it one, two, three, four, five. Now let's make a new list except with each number in this is doubled. So try to do that in your head before I show you. Okay, so let's make a new variable called doubled and let's set it equal to the list comprehension. So we're gonna double each number in here. So the expression is gonna be num times two. And now we're gonna tell it what we wanna iterate through. So we're gonna say for every num in numbers. Now, if we print this, we get two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, exactly what we expected. All right, now let's do one more example and show you that you can work with multiple lists at the same time. So let's take two value, two variables. One is a list of one, three, five, and seven. And the second is a list of two, four, six, and eight. Ooh, those are periods. Okay. So now, what if we want to show every single possibility, possible combination of these numbers? So we can actually achieve that with list comprehension. So let's make a combined variable and let's set it equal to the list comprehension of num1, num2. And now let's tell it what we want it to iterate over. So for every num1 in A, and then for every num2 in B. Now, what do you expect this output is gonna be? It may help to think about what, how would you write this the long way? You would probably do a nested for loop, right? You would iterate through all of A, and for each number in A, you're gonna iterate through all the possible combinations in B. Okay, hopefully that made you help, helped you understand. So now when we print combined, this is the result we get. One, two, one, four, one, six, one, eight, three, two, three, four, three, six, three, eight, and so on. And you see we get every single possible combination. So it's possible to work with more than one list. And you can keep doing this for how many lists you want. All right, that is the basics of list comprehension. The only way you're gonna get better at it is if you practice. So get out there and try it and maybe do some of these examples yourself. All right, thanks guys.